Now, with the start of a full working week, business activities are expected to kick in as workers head to their places of employment. Now, our correspondent, Wilson Namoni, spoke with some public servants and other residents on their expectations for the year 2022. ATM on Monday sees an inflow of vehicles and pedestrians trooping into Lagos Secretariat allows her for the start of a new week. And uh, we thank our governor for blessing us. We have never really enjoyed it so cool. With all the stress in town, he was able to assist us because the 30% went a long way of the basic. It's the first day back for some, despite being the second week of the year 2022. We are quite enjoying the holiday, especially that the government had to give us a Monday free, so it has a pause to relax and really ready for the year's work. <laughs> The service is resuming with prayers and some words of advice from religious leaders to all staff working for the people of Lagos. It was the year of the answers to crisis, year of pandemic, various variants, Alpha, Beta, Delta, Omicron. But here we are, God sparing our lives. So why won't we come before God? If you make sure that the office you occupy efficiently deliver the services one day you will come back to need the service that you are delivering fear god do it right and you will prosper the residents have high expectations both personally and from the state executive and we appeal to the civil servant that they should continue in the culture of excellence and they should exude the culture of integrity at all times and I also wish to talk to the parents. They must show more interest in parenting. Most of, some of our parents are not doing it well. And I wish to please encourage them to support their children, to check their books, to come to school regularly and ask what is happening. Looking forward, the residents say the state and federal government must look to avert the inflation of prices and promote infrastructural development to make working environment more cost effective.